welcome and welcome back to the channel. Thank you for stopping by. I hope you're good. And if you celebrate, I hope you had a lovely Christmas. I'm here to share with you all the wonderful things that I got for Christmas. Um, I do sound a little bit strange. I don't know if it's coming across, but I am full of cold. So, uh, yay. <laughs> Danny was ill over Christmas and I've picked up just after. So I'm just going to keep this fairly brief because it seems to be hitting my throat more than anything. And today I can talk. May not be the case tomorrow um, because it's quite sore. So while I still have a functioning vocal system, let's do this. I'm going to try and split this into sections. So hopefully I've done chapters down below. Um, we're going to do some non-bookish things. We're going to do stuff from bookish pals and then we're going to do books at the end. So let's get into this. So first up, non-bookish things. Um, there's a couple of things I haven't got here because I'm quite cramped at the moment because I've done a massive unhaul um, which is beside me and all my stuff's here so there wasn't enough room to kind of bring those in but Danny got me like this big wedge pillow so that you kind of slot it, well slot it, you, you push it up against like your headboard and then it is like um, a slant for you to lean back on so if I put a pillow at the top for my, for my neck it's then much easier for me to kind of read and edit and even play games in bed so I thought that was a really thoughtful gift because he was like fed up of watching me struggle with all the pillows trying to get comfortable to read so that was a really sweet gift for him to get me and then I think it was either him it might have been Jensen you know he's basically Danny <laughs> uh, got me like a lap table for a laptop so like it's got some cushion underneath and it's big enough to kind of put your laptop and then a mouse pad and then a slot for your phone as well so I can edit in bed and also play the sims which is mainly what it's been used for so far <laughs> it'll just make it more comfortable for me to edit in bed which is where i prefer to edit because who wouldn't i also got some brand new headphones from my sister uh, funny story my mum bought these for me which i opened first and then when i got to my sister's my sister had also bought them for me because my mum had not done it correctly or something had gone wrong and they hadn't come off my wish list so um danny has the other other pair and my mum bought me something else instead so technically these are from my sister they're super comfy, um, very good quality, very good sound quality, and I've, uh, again, mostly been using them so far to play The Sims, but they will be getting a lot of use, especially when I'm at work, um, and they do have, like, a aux AUX cable as well, so they are Bluetooth and non-Bluetooth. Very happy with those. My sister also got me this, which is, like, one of these microwave things, um, so that you can heat it, and it's, like, particularly good to kind of sit on your stomach, so it's perfect for... That time of the month and also just my general stomach problems um so this will be very helpful and also it's super cute reminds me of all for the game which may or may not be why i picked the fox one to go on my wish list um but also just when it's been cold i've been heating it up and just kind of having it on my lap and it's been lovely so it can also be used to warm my bed this will be fairly hard to show because i haven't unpacked them yet but jensen also got me some uh earrings he got me some lovely earrings last year as well so he's building them up they're just like black studs um he got me these ones um which you can see he got me these ones which i always wear and actually while we're here um those <laughs> This skeleton giving the middle finger, which I think is very apt for me, we're from my nephew, so good choices, Reese <laughs> and Didi, his uh, girlfriend. But these um, are just like lots of little studs for me to wear because I do tend to kind of wear studs quite a bit, um, and I am contemplating getting my third hole done, so I'll need more studs. And my secret Santa from work conveniently got me a little um, like jewelry box. Um, which I will mostly use. I mean, it's only a small one anyway, but I think I'm going to put like my regularly used earrings in here. So it's perfect to kind of keep on the side because my earrings are kind of all over the place. I do need to go through my jewellery actually because I've got so much crap jewellery um, and I just want to keep the nice stuff. So I will find all my nice earrings, mostly that has been bought by Jensen because he's a good egg and put them in there. Some people might think this is very random, but I immediately sent this to Emma. <laughs> um because i was so excited this is technically a late birthday present from my mum because it took months to come she said it only came in december my birthday was in september um but it's a lewis hamilton funko pop he hasn't made it out of the box yet i'm not going to do it because i upset becca uh, with one <laughs> but um oh i'm reflected uh there we go i'm still reflected but you can kind of make him out so i'm very excited i'm gonna i am gonna take him out of the box becca i'm sorry um so he'll appear on my shelf very soon i know he's not book related but i love lewis hammond so 
why not just express my Formula One love as well? And then the last non-bookish thing uh, was from Danny, and it is Ramstein's new album on vinyl. I lost my shit when I opened it because it's really pretty, and I don't want to rip this. So hold fire. I should have taken this off the other way. Okay. So obviously that is the name of the album, and it's beautiful. And then the rest of the album looks like this. And then inside, ah, we have them looking all cool. Uh, and it's two disc, which is very cool. Um, I'm, oh, I'll show you it all. <laughs> uh, so it's two disc. Oh no, I moved you. Apologies. It slid. Hi. It's two disc. That's the first one. Let me show you that because I don't want to. There. And then the second one kind of ties it in. It's like the reverse of the image on the other one. And then it also has this very cool booklet which has the lyrics in which obviously I can't read <laughs> um, but also has like a really cool portrait of each uh, band member so I mean it, this is like a group shot I just love them I won't show you all the band members but I will show you Till Lindemann who is the lead singer because his portrait is stunning I think that's so gorgeous so they're all kind of that kind of vein I do think he definitely got the best portrait which is not surprising he is the front man uh, but then we have like again like a reverse shot from the front so um i haven't listened to it on vinyl yet but i have listened to it and it is an amazing album and i'm really excited so that is all my non-bookish stuff let's do stuff from bookish pals sorry if there's been an angle change i'm not doing very well i knocked you with the uh record the lp the vinyl and then i just moved you because my brain's not working so some of this is going to be books or book related but they're all from like bookish pals and the first thing i have to show you is something that i you may have already seen because i've i've had it before christmas and i don't really know how to show it on here but basically this is from lisa and it's a uh, can you see do you see it's an astravas astravas blanket from a dog shade magic it is huge it will spread over my king size bed and it is beautiful i wish i could show you it in more detail i'll try and take a picture and put it here i think i have a picture hopefully there's a picture here and hopefully you can see it but it is really lovely it's so soft and very very grateful and she also got me this is the one that i ripped open and becca was like her but look it's Ghostface as a Funko Pop. He has a knife. <laughs> He's so cool. I put him straight here. He is. Uh, I will be redoing my shelves um, and he will be pride of place. Thank you. Speaking of Becca, <laughs> she got me these two cute little Lego figures. So this is obviously Freddy Krueger and his Beetlejuice. I may or may not be obsessed with Beetlejuice. They can also go up here. Oh no, Freddy Krueger down. Where'd you go? Oh. Oh, there you go. Oh. Freddy, you're drunk. Oh, it's because your legs aren't straight. Nailed it. <laughs> Speaking of Beetlejuice, from Chloe, I got this, which is frankly awesome. And I can't wait to display this on my shelves. So these are the two guys from Beetlejuice, the two uh, ghosts, which are Adam and Barbara. And it says, never trust the living. And it's super cool. And I'm gonna put that here for now so that we can, we can see them together. Oh no, I'm in the way. <laughs> Just displaying all of my stuff here. Um, I also got a Beetlejuice badge. Uh, which you can't probably see because this doesn't have autofocus, but it's it's the movie cover and that is super cool And I also got this sticker in case of emergency draw a door, which is also from Beetle Jewel. Oh no The badge um, The badge doesn't want to stay so um, and then I Absolutely, I mean I loved everything that Chloe got me um, she was also my secret Santa, so this was like my secret Santa gift. And then as a like an additional thing, which I'm obsessed with, was this absolutely stunning Beetlejuice book cover, book sleeve, sorry. Um, it's got like a little book and it's uh, like rainbow. 
and inside it's a nice polka dot and it's huge and I don't know if you can see the design properly but we've got like Lydia and Beetlejuice and loads of different bits from the film and like the beauty queen and the snake and it's I've already been using it because obviously I took books to both Christmas days Christmas day and Boxing Day even though I knew I wasn't going to read because you know just in case um, and I took him in that and I'm obsessed with it and it's beautiful so thank you Chloe continuing the Beetlejuice theme I got this from Meg which is going to be hung up probably like right here oh you can't see it I'm going to find somewhere that is visible in my uh, videos because I absolutely love that so it says it's showtime and that's obviously from Beetlejuice as well and then she also got me these two cute little bat stickers which I'm obsessed with especially this one because look it's on a monster adorbs I can't I need something that I need a camera that focuses this is a phone there's no focus here focus on the bat don't look at me focus on the bat on the bat no so I hope that you can still make out how cute they are she also got us some biscuit tea I think everyone got biscuit tea and I think everyone was very happy about this fact because you can never have too much biscuit tea and then she also got me seasonal fears which is the middle game sequel which I had still not got around to buying which is frankly shocking. And now I really want to reread Middle Game and then read this straight after. So thank you very much, Meg. I can't, I think I said thank you, Lisa, at the end of showing you Lisa's things. I mean, obviously I've thanked these people in person as well, but thank you very much, Lisa, for my blanket and my ghost face. Uh, and thank you, Becca, if I didn't say thank you. I should not have filmed this when I'm ill. I don't know what's going on. And from Smash, we got Fudge. Yeah. And also she knitted us all hats in like a colour that reflects us, like that we would wear. So um, very, very touched because one, it's super cute. I probably shouldn't have done that because I've messed up my hair and it was messy enough as it is. And two, it's just really thoughtful to have spent so much time on making these for everyone. So thank you so much, Smash. The fudge was beautiful and the hat is also lovely and so much effort. Thank you so much. And then I went to see my friend Emma, who I originally met through Bookstagram, um, and her wife Emma and their friend Becky, and the four of us kind of get together and have like a pre-Christmas get together, and we exchange presents and we have lots of food and things. And um, my presents made me so happy. Um, so first of all, we have an acrylic stand of Draken, or I, I've been pronouncing it wrong um, because it looks like it should be Draken, but I think it might be Draken. Um, I'm not sure how to, how best to pronounce it, but he is my favourite character from Tokyo Revengers, and again, the focus is shit. Just take my word from it that he is stunning. And then also, I have my first Nenderoid, and it's Nanami from Jujutsu Kaisen, and he's very very cool. And I've positioned him this way so he has like his glasses and his and his like knife, and he's awesome. You can change the position of them, and he comes with like different faces and all sorts and I already want like a thousand more Nendroids but obsessed with him and when I eventually get round to redoing my shelves hopefully sometime this week if I'm up to it I'm hoping to put my manga and my horror kind of like more visible for videos and they will be displayed with their respective manga series and the rest is books, but before we go into books from my family, let's do some more books from Bookish Bells. So first up, I have Road of Bones by Christopher Golden. This was from the lovely Amy at Booktube with Amy, and I'm going to give you like three buzzwords for each one. So horror, isolated setting, and creepy walls. I know that's three, that's technically two walls, but I don't know, hyphenate it. Um, I'm very excited for this one. It's been on my radar for a while. So thank you so much, Amy. I can't wait to get to this. Then I have two books from the wonderful Tori. Uh, the first one is One to Watch by Kate Stamen London. Um, and this was, on her note, she said this was her favourite book of 2020. So what can I tell you about this one? Um, a romance, plus size rep, and um, reality show. So we're not doing three words. We're doing three kind of like points <laughs> three points really excited for this one um it sounds i've heard that the plus size rep is supposed to be pretty good and then tori said that she really likes it and i'm always intrigued to pick up books that my friends love so i'm very excited for that one and then she also got me the haunting of avalyn jones by phil hicks um what can i say about this one it's a middle grade it is about ghost stories and there's a mystery i believe so i had a lot of people talking about this around halloween time um i'm really 
caught my attention and I think there's like three in the series now so I'm very excited to pick this one up it should be like a, a bit of an easy read because obviously it's middle grade so a nice little short spooky read and hopefully I'll enjoy this as much as I enjoyed Popkin and Stubbs because I apparently spooky middle grade is my jam so thank you so much Tori I can't wait for both of those and then I also got two from the wonderful Silka at the Danish Readaholic. So I've got The Deep Sea Duke by Lauren James. Now I have already read this and technically it's book two, but on Amazon they're both listed as book one, which is super helpful. Um, <laughs> but as I've already read them, it really doesn't matter. I just want to collect them. I can't really show you because of the lighting, but I'm obsessed with these covers. They're like shiny and beautiful and the story was fantastic. So this is also like a middle grade, um, maybe like very young teen, but it's kind of like a, a queer, oh yeah, I'm supposed to be doing the whole thing. So queer, sci-fi, fantasy. Um, I can't really tell you too much about this one without spoiling the other one, but like Android, Android androids so queer androids and sci-fi it's it's a great it's a little duology it's so good um i can't remember what the first one's called now oh it's on the back here the starlight watchmaker i do still need to get that for my shelves and then i would like to reread them at some point because they were so cute and then she also got me the hardback version of legends and lattes by travis baldry this is one of my favorite books of 2022 um obviously i've got the original because I very, was very lucky because Lisa bought me the original um, self-pub version before it got taken over. But luckily, that is also displayed as end pages in this one. So at least it's kind of there. And it's purple. I didn't notice it was purple. My eyes are not. Wow. <laughs> Hello. So this is a cosy fantasy orc coffee shop. And you should all read it because it was fantastic. So very excited to have this. I really want to reread it. Thank you so much, Silka, for both those books. You're a diamond. Let's talk more books. So first up from my lovely friend Jess, I have Carmela by Sheridan Le Fanu. I believe this is a female author. Sheridan is a female name, but we know how names can change over time. By the way, no like buzzwords for the next three books and you'll see why. So this is like the original vampire story that inspired Dracula. So many people have been talking about it recently. I'd never heard of it and then it's become like a real thing where everyone's talking about it and wanting to read it because I don't know if we're, people just forgot about it and then somebody's highlighted it, I'm not sure. But I had no idea there was a vampire novel pre-Dracula um, or that there was something that had inspired Dracula, put it that way. This cover is absolutely stunning and it's a nice short one. So I'm really excited to read this. I know that I don't read a lot of classics, but classic horror is something that I really wanted to get more into, especially after how much I love Frankenstein. So I'm very excited to give this a go. And she also got me Dracula, which I wasn't surprised about because it's her favourite book. And this edition is stunning. Um, and it's the, one of the editions that she has because she has multiple editions of Dracula. It's so pretty. It's very chunky, which I wasn't expecting, uh, but obviously it's Dracula. I don't really need to tell you what it's about, but it is one of the classic horror that I want to get to next. So I'm very excited to have this on my shelf. Thank you so much, Jess, for this beautiful edition. And continuing in that theme, um, because I couldn't decide on which edition of Dracula I wanted, and I may have my eye on several other editions of Frankenstein, I don't have a problem, it's fine. Danny also got me an edition of Dracula, and this is the one that kind of goes with my Frankenstein. So this is the uh, Penguin Classics Cloth Bound Editions. Uh, this edition is the Puffin, I think. Oh, no it's not. What am I talking about? This is Penguin Random House, and this is the Penguin Cloth Bound. So they're both imprints of Penguin, but I couldn't decide which edition I wanted. So I've also got this one to go with my Frankenstein collection. And it looks a lot shorter, but then I also think the writing is a lot smaller. So maybe when I read it, because I'm going to listen to the audiobook, but that kind of looks more uh, followable, if that makes sense. So... I really hope I like this now. <laughs> Can you imagine? Danny also got me On These Black Sands by Vanessa Rassanen. Rassanen? Um, I can't remember whether this is something Lisa pointed out to me or something I saw on TikTok or what, but I think this is like an indie pub. Um, it certainly looks like a kind of imprint that I don't, a printing that I don't know. It's by Crabapple Books. Um, so I'm pretty sure it's, they're an indie publishing company, but this is like a fantasy and there's like 
uh, an heir on the run and then a pirate lord who wants to not be a pirate anymore and they're kind of like coming together to to do something I think I think it's like a romance what I do love about it is that there is a pronunciation guide at the front for all the names which is something I love to see in books because as we know I spend half my life pronouncing things totally wrong in my head and then having like a crisis when I hear an audiobook for the first time so this sounds really really cool um pirates adventure romance maybe uh fantasy sounds really really good and was a very recent addition to my wish list as well so very excited to get to that one and then my boy did come through he got me not one but two omnibus of attack on titan so these are the next two that i need um although funny story i'd actually bought the next one that i need and went to take it off the list forgetting that the list was public and someone had bought it and I was panicking about it and I was like trying to figure out how I was going to return it because I didn't have my receipt and I bought it using water stone points it wasn't even on my credit card statement and Danny was like what is it and I was like explaining it and I was like was it you because that would be so much easier because you can just return it and exchange it for something else and he was like yeah it was me was it the blue one or the black one and I was like you got me too <laughs> he was like for fuck's sake <laughs> so um luckily enough the one that i had and the one after the one that he'd got this one was the same price so he literally just returned that one and bought this one instead so i was super happy and then because of the uh headphone thing my mum said just order whatever you want so i got the only other omnibus that i need before i'm caught up with like the ones that are coming out so i've pre-ordered all the rest <laughs> um i think there's one more to be announced uh but the rest are on pre-order so now i have all of the attack on titan that is out and i can binge it so i've got these three and one more that i haven't read to go and then i'm caught up as they come out and i can just drop everything as soon as it comes out and read it i know i could read it because it's technically all out it's been out for a long time because it's these are just the omnibus versions but i'm really loving reading the omnibus versions so um happy very very happy and now i just need the like other tie-in things to go with it because obsessed <laughs> and alongside that from my mum i ordered the next firefly book this is carnival um oh i didn't tell you attack on titan manga titans obsessed read it yeah <laughs> Uh, this is obviously a Firefly Tire novel, so sci-fi, uh, western in space, great characters. If you love the show, read the books. Uh, but I now have six out of the seven books and I've only read two, so I really need to sort my life out. Um, but I want to buy the first two in hardback because I've now got all the rest in hardback and they are so pretty. And this one does have like the brown coat uh, feel to the cover, which always makes me happy, and also has a book in bookmark so i don't know what this is about because i'm not this far in the series yet but they're all kind of like standalone tie-ins if that makes sense uh, i still want to read them in order because i think that's that might impact it just love this series so much and the tie-in novels really do read like an episode of the show and the show was cruelly taken away for no reason apart from fox not being able to air things in order and ruining it for everyone so thanks fox uh, but at least we have these to kind of help plug the gap it doesn't it doesn't make up for it but they are very very good so my mum had also got me two books before i ordered these because of the headphone fiasco <laughs> um so she's got me the reckless afterlife of harriet stoker by lauren james this was on my radar because of becca from the becca fowl who had read it and it sounds really good it's about this girl who kind of dies uh, in an abandoned house and meets like the ghost there i'm not really sure how to do like the three plot points because it's pretty sparse on the back but it's kind of her like doing stuff with the ghost in the afterlife and i don't know she might destroy everything i don't know it just it sounds really really good um but i don't know how to explain it to you so um, and then she also got me the loneliest girl in the universe by lauren james it's a very lauren james christmas because this is three books that i have from her so this is uh like a sci-fi ya uh falling in love via email i'm not really sure but she's basically like 
the only person left on this spaceship and then a spaceship comes from earth with one person on it called jay one guy on it and they can only converse by email and i don't know but it sounds really good and honestly lauren james has some gorgeous covers because that is some shiny shiny shit i've heard a lot about this it's very short it's a sci-fi very excited lauren james coming through been very very intrigued to pick up a lot of her books after reading those so what else have I read by Lauren James? Something? I don't think so. I think I started putting everything on my list after reading um, The Starlight Watchmaker and The Deep Sea Duke because I really enjoyed them so much. So hopefully I enjoy the rest of her writing. And then I also had some gift vouchers and obviously I use them for books. So <laughs> the first thing I ordered is Our Wives Under the Sea by Julia Armfield. This is a horror. It's a woman goes on a undersea exploration and comes back to her wife different um and it's uh, creepy wow it's i'm very excited for it i'm very very excited for it. i've had really really good things it kind of gives me into the drowning deep vibes but not not really but there's just i think it's just because it's like a deep sea exploration and it's horror um so i don't think there's like mermaids or anything involved but i am very excited i don't know whether she like i'll just read this it says it's a story of falling in love loss grief and what life there is in the deep deep sea um if you don't know the deep deep sea is terrifying to me um so <laughs> i don't want to know what's down there but also i love horror books set there because i like to scare myself and it's just an added fear factor for me <laughs> and then i also got hidden pictures by jason wow i should look that up rare rakulak i don't know um i've seen a lot of people talking about this i'm very very excited again i don't know how to do the three words for this or the three like buzz things for it so i'm just going to say it's about like this woman who is trying to turn her life around and she becomes like a nanny and the kid that she's nannying is really lovely and she really bonds with him but he starts drawing these really strange scary pictures um and they, they're a bit too detailed for his age and it might be to do with like a murder and somebody might be trying to get him to like talk to them through him to solve her murder um sounds amazing uh, creepy kid sign me up very excited and uh it's one that i was wanting to get to asap so i was like i'm going to order it i have two more that haven't arrived yet so i've got comfort me with apples by Catherine m valenta um i've heard so much about this and i just keep referring to it as like creepy weird stepford wives and i think it's like this woman thinks her life is perfect but then everyone around her knows something she doesn't and i'm not 100 percent sure what that is i did read something on the back which I is in the back of my head like I feel like there's an extra plot point but I kind of don't want to remember it so I give you creepier Stepford Housewives and the other book that I've ordered is Hell Followed With Us by Andrew Joseph White uh firstly this is a stunning cover and the my main reason for wanting to read this book is that it is a cult book and I really feel like I will enjoy books about cults um so far i have not been writing that assumption because the project was a letdown but i feel like that was the book and not me so i'm really interested to try more books about cults i think i have another one or there's another one on my radar i don't think i actually have it but i'm looking for cult books and this one sounds really really good um it's a ya i can't remember too much about the cult itself because I don't want to <laughs> uh, but I'm hoping to pick this up soon too because I am very very interested to see what this is all about and that's everything so I was absolutely spoiled rotten I'm sure that I've forgotten something I went round and I was grabbing everything but I should have kind of kept them all in one place but I did not do that because that would have been sensible but I'm pretty sure that I covered all the books at least there's so many in this stack that I'm so excited to get to and I am beyond grateful to everybody that sent me something you're all absolutely lovely and I love you all to pieces I am starting to struggle 
<laughs> so I've just made it. So I'm going to leave it here. But let me know in the comments below something that you got for Christmas or a book that you're really excited to get your hands on soon. Or if you just want me to know you're here, that purple heart is always appreciated. Thank you guys so, so much for watching. If you're not already subscribed and you'd like to see more bookish content from me, hit that button, leave a like if you want to, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!